Hello, this is Hellbent, and welcome to tutorial 3 in the GUI series for AutoHotKey. In this tutorial, or over the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be looking at adding in the edit box and all the different things that we can do with it, uh, adding variables to it, updating its values, uh, changing its background color, positioning it, uh, a whole bunch of things, like tons and tons of things that we're going to be looking at with this. Um, now I'm going to be breaking this up into mini parts so if you have a specific thing that you're looking for just select the video you want watch it blah 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 and that's it if you want to have the overall experience of everything with the edit box I'm also going to be doing an extended version where it's going to be covering everything in one maybe two videos so you can choose if you want short videos or long videos your choice okay so let's just start out I'm gonna type in single instance so that that way I don't have to uh, blah 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 I'm sure you know what this is and I'm gonna add in a hotkey okay now I'm gonna create my GUI And I'm going to add in a title. Let's call this um, okay. Return and one last thing. okay I think we're good to go okay so this one we're just going to cover adding in the, the edit field so right now we have just our basic template 500 by 500 so we're going to add in our edit now which is GUI comma add edit and then if we want a specific location we're going to type in its X location so let's go with uh, X uh, 100 and a Y of 300 and there we go so we got our basic edit and we can fill, type in some whatever we want and let's change its size so let's go with a width of 300 and a height of 200 okay and let's position this back up near the top and, and let's go there okay so here's our edit field now one thing to note is that if our edit is set to be more than two rows tall so for example if I was if it was taller than this it's going to automatically have the ability for us to press return or enter to create new lines and it's also going to give us this ability to scroll like so there you go okay so we can scroll this only applies if our edit field is higher than two lines high and I think that's about 30 something let's try 36 so a height of 36 okay there we go so that we can have two lines in this and then multiple lines after that but if we went a little bit smaller so let's try 32 I'm not sure if this is okay that's still too tall uh, let's just go what I know is not gonna be okay there we go okay so here if we press enter or return it's not going to do anything but we can continue going off to the right okay but we can't press enter we can't create new lines um, also if we do have it over the height of two lines it ends up automatically doing word wrap so we were not able to scroll over to the right so it's automatically just going to keep creating new lines every time it gets to the edge and I think 
that is all that we need to cover in this. So there you got your edit, how to add it in, how to position it, and how to size it. Yeah, I think that's good for this one. And we'll come back and we'll add something in the next tutorial. See you there.